Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you everything you need to know about the small oil rig, from how to clear the scientists and heavy scientists with the least amount of supplies, to all the different crate spawns on the oil rig. Timestamps can be found in the description. If you have lots of supplies, like guns and stuff, then bring those with you. It'll make it a lot easier to take oil rig. But even if you're broke, it's still possible to clear the monument. The kit I have on now is about the least amount of supplies that you can bring to clear this monument, and that's some crappy armor, a hunting bow with a stack of arrows or around that, a bone knife or other harvesting tool that you can use to collect cloth from the scientists that you kill, along with 100 health worth of heals. So I have 40 cloth and 3 bandages, that's about 50 health worth of bandages, and I have 5 pumpkins which is another 50 health. When taking an oil rig, you have the option of leaving this bottom scientist alive. The pros of leaving the scientist alive is that if you get countered, it will be impossible for any counters to sneak up on you because while they're climbing up either of the two ladders, the scientist will just shoot at them and you'll hear the gunshots and be aware of the counter. The cons is that if you leave it alive, you'll have to run past it and you'll take more damage. So it's simply just a choice of whether you have enough heals to tank the amount of damage from this dock scientist or not. If you have enough heals to run past the scientist, I would highly recommend doing so. But in case you don't and you want to kill him, I'll show you how to do that. If you're planning on killing the bottom scientist, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go is you're going to want to run up to this box with a tarp on it. And you're going to want to keep the scientist in between you and the box, and what that'll do is it'll give you this nice this nice head glitch where you can line up headshots on the scientist, but it won't be able to shoot back at you. Easy. That guy had a rock launcher. That's crazy. The easiest way to kill scientists on the second, third, and top floors is by getting their attention and cut, making them follow you down here to the stairway. As you can see, I've gotten the scientist's attention. And what I'm going to do when he gets to the stairway is I'm going to continuously jiggle peek and kill him this way. So once you've killed all the scientists and you've looted all of them, your loot's going to look something like this. This isn't counting any crates. I'm going to show you guys what the loot is going to look like with all the crates towards the end of the video. If you have a blue and a red keycard with you, you will have the ability of unlocking the lock crate. If you do this, it will call in a helicopter and it will spawn in heavy scientists on the helipad. And killing these heavy scientists is going to be quite a challenge. They have lots of health and they have M249s which deal a ton of damage. So this kit is not going to cut it. The kit I'd recommend you bring if you're going to take the heavy scientists would be better armor along with a gun, a stack of ammo, and a lot more meds. When taking the heavy scientists, I usually recommend that you play on this crane. In my opinion, this is just the easiest way to go about it. As you can see, the scientists are going to come out of this helicopter, and I would recommend getting as much damage as you can from this long range, because after you damage them, they are going to run up to you. It, in some rare cases, the scientists can get glitched and get frozen on the helipad. It appears as though that's what happened right now. Usually what's going to happen is the majority of the scientists are immediately going to run down the stairs. And then once they're aggroed on you, they're going to run up to you. And they're just going to, if you're sitting like right here, they're just going to sit underneath you and look up at you. And the way you're going to go about killing them is by uncrouching and shooting them through this gap right here. So like there'd be one right here, you uncrouch, shoot a bullet, then crouch again, uncrouch, shoot a bullet, crouch again, uncrouch, shoot a bullet. Uncrouch, shoot a bullet, uncrouch, shoot a bullet. And you just keep doing that over and over again until you eventually kill all of them. Now that I've gone over how to clear the scientists and the heavy scientists, I'll get into all the different crate spawns. There are no crate spawns on the dock or the first floor, but there is one on the second floor right here. As you can see, you would just walk up these stairs, take a right, and the crate would spawn right behind here. 
There's one crate on the third floor. To get to it, you would just walk up these stairs, turn around, and it is right here. Walk back to the stairway that you just came from. Walk up these stairs to the top floor, and you'll see these jumble of boxes and crates. You would come over here, and you will find the crate right here. Come over here to the opposite side of the top floor, and you'll find the crate right here. On the third floor, you will find a green card room. If you have a green card, you can open this room just like that. And inside of here, you will find four crates. On the top floor, if you go over to this side, you will find the fuse room. To get into this room, you need to go to this fuse box and insert a fuse. Then come to the other side of the room, press this button to open the door. And inside, you will find two military crates. These can only be military crates. Inside of the blue keycard room that I already opened, you can find one military crate and one elite crate. Keep in mind that this elite crate only spawns once during the server. So if you're not the first one to run oil, then you won't get this elite crate. Also inside of the blue keycard room, you can find a green keycard spawn on this desk. Inside of the red keycard room, you can find the lock crate spawn, which is a 15 minute timer. And I got an AK, chest plate, and rocket. That's pretty good. After looting all of the crates and clearing all of the sciences, this is what my final inventory looks like.